he's here tonight. He just popped in. Now he just he doing what a good missionary does, and like Brother John done, he just I'm gonna go to this church tonight, you know, and you never know what might come out of it, too, you know. So, uh, but uh, it is something, Brother uh, Austin, that uh, I have already mentioned to our church, and and um, and I've been praying about. I'm, we all four starting independent, good independent fundamental Baptist churches. And um, we wouldn't be doing our duty if we supported them around the world, but not supporting them right here in our Jerusalem. And, uh, and so that's the reason we put so much effort into Maplesville. And, uh, and we certainly want to do what we can in Hoover, Alabama. And uh, uh, we are planning an independent Baptist church, which we've named Hope Baptist Church uh, in Hoover, Alabama. Uh, my wife's here in the back. That's my wife, Jessica. Nine years ago today, we were married. And the Lord's blessed us with four children. Two of them are in the children's class tonight. Abigail is six, Andrew is four, uh, Jackson is two, and Joseph is just over three months. And so uh, the Lord's blessed us with four wonderful children, and we appreciate that. Uh, but just kind of how the Lord, what the Lord's laid on our heart to do and how he's done that. Right after we were married, I had just graduated Bible college. We moved to Helena, Alabama, where we served on the staff at Gospel Light Baptist Church. And while we were there, that first mission conference, we were challenged we were made aware, really, of the need of churches to be planted uh, in the state of Alabama. I knew that there was a need for world evangelism, but I grew up in North Carolina, and in the area where I grew up, there's an independent Baptist church everywhere you went. Uh, you'd pass three on the same stretch of road in just a couple of miles. And so when I thought of church planting in the U.S., I thought, well, New England and out west, and certainly those areas need it as well. Uh, but there are currently 13 counties and 14 cities with a population of over 5,000 in the state of Alabama that do not have an independent Baptist church. And so we were challenged to choose one and pray. And so the Lord laid on my heart to begin praying for Hoover. Well, the Lord led my family and I away uh, for six years. I pastored for a short time in the church that I was born and raised in and then served as an assistant pastor at uh, Fairview Baptist Church in Athens, Tennessee, where it's a small world pastor, uh, Brother Keaton, that you mentioned. Uh, I was the youth director to some of his grandchildren that attend church there. And so we're familiar with the Keaton family. But while we were there at Fairview, we found out that Gospel Light had started a Bible study in Hoover. And we're praying that God would send someone to take that and turn it into a church plant. And so we began to pray again. Lord, that's wonderful. We remember praying for Hoover before. Send someone, and we'll be excited to hear what you do there. Well, last year in 2022, the Lord began to work in my heart and in my wife's heart and to show us very clearly that he was calling us to go back, reunite with the Gospel Light Baptist Church, and be the church planner to Hoover, Alabama. Uh, just a little bit of background on what Hoover is. It has a population now of over 92,000 people. It's 15 minutes outside of Birmingham, and it does not have an independent Baptist church. There are two cities that are, touch, uh, that are uh, close to Hoover, Vestavia Hills, which borders Hoover, and then Homewood, which is closer to Birmingham. Collectively, those two cities have over 60,000 people, and neither one of them have an independent Baptist church either. And so we're planning Hope Baptist Church, which we're praying is just one of many uh, that the Lord will plant in that area. Uh, we plan to plant this church and then pastor that church, but it's our prayer that God would send us another church planner that with our church plant Hope Baptist Church and our home church, Gospel Light Baptist Church, we could send them out and help them and see not just Vestavia Hills and Homewood, but Birmingham also with several more independent Baptist church plants. There's a great need. In the U.S., in the last 10 years, over 300 independent Baptist churches have closed their doors. And so I ask if you would, would you pray for Hoover, pray for us, the Brown family. Uh, we School just let out, so we're now on full-time deputation. Our goal is by the end of next June to have our support raised, and we've scheduled the last Sunday in September as the grand opening Sunday for Hope Baptist Church. That gives us a few months to knock every, every door, Lord willing, in Hoover. There's over 35,000 doors in Hoover. We want to see every door knocked by that point in time and send something uh, to every home through the mail and do some online things as well to get the word out and see Hoover claimed for the Lord Jesus Christ. So if you would pray uh, for the Browns as they seek to take the hope of Christ to the people in Hoover. Thank you, Lord, for what you've done. But thank you for our brother that's here tonight. Thank you for Brother Austin and his family. I pray now that you just uh, supply their needs and, Lord, just open up doors for them and I pray, Lord, even before they go to Hoover, that, Lord, you just open up doors there. That, Lord, I know you. Lord, where, that where you call us, Lord, you are already there. You're there already. And, Lord, I know you're already there in Hoover. You're just waiting. And, Father, I pray that, Lord, you just bless them and guide them and, and give them everything they need, Lord, as they start that church there. Help us, Lord, to be able to help them too, I pray. 
And we ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you.